so this is a video that was inspired by a video that Mount Vernon Kid did a while back of what would He-Man think of Thor, and I already did one involving uh, what if the crew from the Enterprise met the crew from the Normandy, but then I started thinking, and I pr also, before I go any further, I probably won't turn in the, into this into a series, but if I ever have an idea, this, like I said, this won't be a series, but if I ever have an idea of what, of what I think it would be like, and same goes for Chris, who, by the way, is going to make another one of those videos, and he only told me, he hasn't told me what the other one is, um, but he has told me so far it'll be the, in the Inhumans will be involved with it. So I can't wait to see what he comes up with. Who would who would the Inhuman? Who would he like to see the Inhumans meet? But anyway, like I said, this probably won't be a series. But if I ever like on occasion never have the idea of oh that'd be cool if they met. Let's do, uh, let me talk about it. let me do a video on it. So anyway, but like I said, this is a video of where it's not really a fight. It's just basically a diagnosis of what it'd be like if these two met. And the two groups I'm talking about are the Gargoyles and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, this has been talked about a lot. This is, there's been crossovers about it. There's been cross crossover fan art. There's been debates about it. And like I said, not a fight. Just what if the Turtles met the Gargoyles? I think that'd be fucking awesome, personally. I would love to see the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meet the Gargoyles. Uh, so, this is basically a video of how I'd like to see of what I'd think would happen if the Turtles ever met the Gargoyles. Now, first off, I think it'd be one of those I-don't-know-you-you-don't-know-me kind of fights. I think it'd be kind of, it would be something like, uh, we've run it... <laughs> we're, uh, the Gargoyles don't know what to think of the Turtles, They and the Turtles think they're mutations, and they're dangerous, so fight ensues. Then it's like, oh, we're on the same side. This is very cl close, because they're both teams that live secret secretly in New York, well, the Gargoyles kind of get public, but let's put this in a time when the Gargoyles were still kind of in secret, before they were, you know, publicly announced. But, anywho, the gar the uh, the turtle, both the teams, excuse me, both teams live in secret. They both have a human ally, you know, April O'Neil for the Turtles and Elisa Maza for the Gargoyles, and they have human enemies as well as inter as well as inhuman enemies. So, this would be very cool to see them, you know, encounter one another. Maybe, like, on a street patrol, and then, uh, one of the, like I said, one of those I-don't-know-you, you-don't-know-me kind of fights, but then it's, uh, kind of forms into a friendship. Like, they kind of meet this understanding, and I think it'd be just kind of fun of all the little groups meeting, like, uh, of course, Leonardo meeting Goliath. I think that they'd have to learn, they'd learn a lot from one another being leaders, you know. Uh, Goliath was young when he became leader of his clan back in the day, and Leonardo's still learning to be a leader, and I think that'd be very interesting to see how Goliath and Leonardo would kind of co uh, compare and contrast their leadership skills. I think that'd be very interesting. As well, uh, uh, in regards to, like, the other Turtles, uh, Raphael and Brooklyn. Yeah, Raphael and Brooklyn would be a great team. I think they'd be uh, interested. They, I think they'd get, they wouldn't like each other at the get-go. I think even when the Turtles and the Gargoyles, you know, unite... Uh, I could just see Raphael and Brooklyn just going back and forth throughout the entire time and Leo and Goliath telling them to, you know, shut up. <laughs> you know, to the point where they have to shut up when they're, all they do is argue and say who's the better one. I think that, I think, but eventually it comes to one of those, you know, battle buddy kind of relationships. So, I'd love to just see the back and forth between Brooklyn and Raphael. Uh, in terms of other ones, I think the other friendship that could form here is Donnie and, and uh, Lexington. You know, Lex and Donnie would be a great friendship. Both of them love computers, and I think it'd just be hilarious just to watch Donnie and Rex, uh, I mean, Donnie and Lex just talking to uh, talking to one another and, you know, talking about computers and scientific stuff, and to the point where I, th I think it'd just be hilarious to uh, where Lexington goes, Oh my god, I found another person that can, I, can, I can actually talk English with! And uh, and everyone everyone else would be looking at them like, Are they, are they gonna be cool? <laughs> And it's funny, it'd be funny, like, they're both looking at each other like, huh, techno, techno nerds, go figure. Oh, uh, that'd be great. Uh, just the, seeing the, uh, the techno babble friendship between Leo, I mean, excuse me, Donnie and Lexington. And, of course, I would definitely see, like to see a friendship between, uh, I can definitely see a friendship forming between Mikey and, and Broadway. I think those two would just hit it off, like, uh, Donnie introducing 
uh, all this new food. Well, actually, Broadway introducing Mikey to all these new foods, and them just talking over a pizza is like, oh yeah, man, I they, I can't get a joke out of these people sometimes, and, and it's like the same thing for Mikey and his brothers sometimes that he can't get a joke out of them. In terms of the other ones, I could definitely see Hudson and Splinter becoming friends as well, like just be having those old veteran war soldier talks. I could definitely see them, you know, forming a friendship over that. I can definitely see them, you know, swapping old stories and, you know, sharing each other's wisdom and basically saying, yeah, I, we, re we train these guys right. We train the right leaders uh, to lead our, fr our families into battle. And I think it would be interesting to see, like, how, uh, how, different the, uh, how different and yet the same the Gargles and the Turtles are. Just see them looking at each other like, yeah, you guys like this, like, I could see the Turtle, the Gargles inviting the Turtles into the tower and the, uh, and the Turtles are like, yeah, we're we're not we're not liking this. We don't like being up above ground. We don't like that. And then I, I could even see the turtles inviting you know them to check out their hangout in the sewers, and Brooklyn just like, oh, this is disgusting. You can't even. We don't even have. You don't even have wing space. <laughs> you, and that'd just be great to seeing them both introduce each other's layers. And it'd be also interesting to see how the uh, their human companions would. Uh, fair and meeting them. Like, I think it'd be interesting for, uh, Aliza... I think it'd be interesting to have a campaign... a human swap, where, uh, Elisa Maza meets the Turtles, you know, she joins the Turtles on a mission while April meets the Gargoyles. I think that... I think that'd be kind of interesting to see how they'd compare one another's teams dis outside of one another. I'd also like to see how Casey... <laughs> how Casey treats the Gargoyles. I think it'd just be hilarious of, like, oh, these guys are a bunch of winged freaks. And again, I'm, I'm okay with freaks. Now, I could definitely see them in terms of like team ups. I could definitely see them teaming again, uh, team up against uh, Demona and the hand, uh, the foot. Excuse me. Why do I almost say the hand every time I want to say the foot? Go figure. And <laughs> I could definitely see like the foot forging an alliance with someone like I don't know Xanatos or uh, Demona, someone that you know it's definitely not going to work well out, uh, work out well in the end. I could even see like uh, maybe. Uh, the the Shredder hires Dr. Savarius, you know, to create them more soldiers, you know, similar to like Bebop and Rocksteady, you know, create them more soldiers to fight in, in the war for it, you know, fight against the war in the Turtles against, eh, fight against the Turtles. Tongue-tied. Sorry. I can definitely see something like that happening. In terms of like other team, like other, you know, things they could go out and fight, there's just so many guys, you know, the both the Turtles and, you know, the Gargles have such a rich, you know, such a rich villain, you know, rogues gallery. I am just so off tonight, I'm sorry. You know, just such a rich, rich rogues gallery. Again, I, my brain is off now. <laughs> I think it'd be interesting just to see whoever they'd come across and, you know, come across in battle or, you know, just meet, you know, just meet and talk, and, you, you know, I think it'd be also interesting to see if, if the Turtles would teach some of the Gargles, their, like, their martial arts skills, like, it'd be interesting, like, Goliath looking at Leo and his, or Brooklyn, I think, actually, Brooklyn, out of all of the Gargoyles, would be more interested in learning how to fight, like, the Turtles, I think he'd be interested in, like, you know, he'd be going up to Leo or Raph and asking, you know, can you teach me how to do that, you know, that kick that I just saw you do. Definitely, like, Probably also not just Brooklyn, now that I think about it. Probably even Lex Lexington and Broadway would go up to the Turtles and be like, can you teach us how to fight like that? And, Le and Leo just having this look of, I don't know if you can do the fights we can't. Your wings and tails might get in the way. <laughs> I think it'd just be great to see even Broadway trying to do a flip kick, knowing is how huge he is. <laughs> but all in all, I'd definitely love to see this happen. Yeah, I know it'll never happen, but how cool would it be if the teen this has been like one of my top favorite crossovers I've ever wanted to see, and <laughs> this is just something I've really, really wanted to see for a long time. So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Gargoyles meeting—how fucking epic would that be? Almost as epic as like Spider-Man meeting the Ninja Turtles. But if I had to pick between Gargoyles meeting TM meeting the, the Turtles or or Spider-Man, gotta go with the Gargoyles. Sorry. I love Sp I'd love to see Spider-Man and Ninja Turtles finally team up, but I 
<laughs> and that's probably more closer, depending, knowing that IDW loves to cross everything over. So maybe they'll go to Marvel again and go, hey, uh, can we do a Spider-Man and Ninja Turtles crossover? And of course, upon hearing this news, Mount Vernon Kid would die of a heart attack. <laughs> and, but however, I gotta go with this. I mean, there's so many cool similarities, and they're so different and the same, that it, I know it's kind of weird to say, but still. Well, um... Hope you guys enjoyed this, and yeah, you guys tell me what would you think if the Turtles met the Gar did a team up with the Gargoyles? How cool would that be? What do you think it would be like? And what kind of a you know friendships would be made? And you know stuff like that. Anyway, guys, I'm out.